A political crisis and rising violence have created an untenable situation for the Haitian people. Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry has agreed to step down after a transitional authority is established that will govern the violence-plagued nation until new elections are held. The United States is urging him to expedite this transition amid the ongoing crisis that threatens Haiti's stability. The U.S. on Monday increased its commitment for the Caribbean country's security and humanitarian support. The United States Department of Defense is doubling its approved support for the mission from $100 million to $200 million. And that brings the total U.S. support to $300 million for this effort. I'm also announcing additional humanitarian assistance for the people of Haiti, $33 million to further support their health and food security. At the United Nations, diplomats hope the deployment of the UN-endorsed multinational security support mission to Haiti will help the country stop the violence. Some analysts believe the mission can create the security conditions necessary for upcoming elections. Some of it is financial support to actually support this mission. Uh, the, the, the United States Southern Command is already on record as indicating that they are in, in process of providing uh, planning assistance, uh, information sharing and intelligence relating to the situation on the ground in Haiti. Others are skeptical of foreign forces pouring into Haiti. And you've seen members of Haitian civil society who come to testify before Congress that have said, we don't want additional forces in our country because forces have come in here, they've raped our women, they've spread disease, they've, you know, collaborated with criminal elements. The Caribbean community said the Transitional Council for Haiti would consist of seven members representing political coalitions and the private sector, plus two non-voting civil society members. This council will appoint a new prime minister and initiate preparations for upcoming presidential elections. Nike Chin, VOA News, Washington.